Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. How much are you willing to pay for a dog's companionship? $10,000? For most breeds, you don't have to fork out such an astronomical amount. However, for a few highly coveted pooches, gaining ownership is going to cost you way more than just a few hundred bucks. Anywhere but $5,000 will be more appropriate, and that's on the lower side. The most expensive breed in this video costs more than twice that. Curious to find out? Just stick around for the next few minutes as we explore these highly priced pooches. Number 10. Barrowhound. The dog's name can be deceiving about its origin. Egypt would be most people's first guess, but that's not actually the case. The dog's roots can be traced back to the Maltese Island, where it's used for rabbit hunting. Because of this, it has been christened Kelb Telfinic in Maltese, which translates directly to rabbit dog. As for the name Pharaoh, it came about based on the unfounded fact that this breed was a descendant of those painted in the ancient Egyptian tombs. This was disproved as the Pharaoh Hound is a fairly modern dog. In fact, the breed found a way out of Malta as recent as 1963. But as for hunting, you can say the dog was created exactly for that. Its overall physique is that of strength and just the right amount of muscle being neither too little or too much. So most dogs of this breed will weigh a maximum of 25 kilograms if taken care of. Though not the only Maltese breed, it's the only one with approval from various kennel clubs around the world. To get this agile hunter in your household, you can expect to part with as much as $7,500. Number nine, Doggo Argentino. Dog Argentino is one of the biggest hounds around, averaging at at least 40 kilograms for males and 35 kilograms for females. The breed is known for its purely white coat and an accompanying muscled body that can be quite intimidating for an unexperienced owner. Developed in the late 1920s, the physique was just the perfect trait for hunting big game as intended by the breeder, a Mr. Antonio Martinez. The same physical build has had a negative effect of the acceptance of the breed around the world. Coupled with the dog's temperament of strong protective instincts, the dog's physical appearance has seen it face ownership restrictions and even bans in the United Kingdom, Iceland, Turkey, and New Zealand, among other countries. These big guys cost around $8,000 each. Number 8. Canadian Eskimo Dog the Canadian Eskimo dog was bred by the Inuit people of the Arctic as a working dog. Once a widespread breed, its population has undergone some serious decline over the years. Today, the breed is considered threatened. Data from the Canadian Kennel Club shows that less than 300 purebred Canadian Eskimo dogs were registered in 2018. The decrease is said to have kicked off in the 1960s with the popularization of snowmobiles for transportation and the rapid spread of canine infections. The race is not lost, though. There is an incentive breeding program aimed at bolstering the dog's numbers in the next few years. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Since they were used to working, Canadian Eskimo dogs are a high-energy bunch. That means keeping them holed up for the whole day is not a good idea. Merely walking them won't do either. They need intense exercise, which is why they're well-suited for dog sports. One of these pooches will set you back $8,700. Number seven, Rottweiler. This is easily one of the oldest herding breeds with their history going as far back as the reign of the Roman Empire. It is thought to be the descendant of the drover dogs that were used by the Romans as they invaded Europe. Later on, the dogs were used to pull meat carts to the market until the advent of railways. Today, Rotties are still used to herd cattle in some parts around the world. Quite a number have founded other uses serving as guard dogs and in search and rescue operations. All these uses come down to the dog's strong guarding instincts and significant additional strength. These two traits make the breed a risky pet for the slob trainer. Additionally, neglect and abuse tend to bring out the worst in this breed. This has earned it the infamous reputation of being among the most dangerous dogs. That's why you'll find it hard to own a Roddy in some countries such as Portugal, Singapore, and Ireland, where you'll have to jump through several hoops before you're allowed to. But that's at least better compared to Ecuador, where it's forbidden by law. But with early on socialization, training, and good care, these dogs make the perfect companions with their natural tendency to protect. A Rottweiler costs about $9,000. Number 6. Azawak. 
This ages-old breed originated from West Africa and was raised in Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. It's usually associated with the nomadic Tuareg, although other ethnic groups do also keep the breed, namely the Hassa and Fula. Rarely do these agile hunters get serious injuries, and in any case, the healing process is speedy, which is an important quality in nomadic life of the West African owners. They're also developed to be highly active pooches with lots of energy and remarkable endurance levels. And that means keeping them active is an important part of the care regimen. They're not exactly aggressive to strangers, but prefer to be left alone. With owners, they form very close bonds, but still retain considerable independence. A nasa walk costs as much as $9,500. Number five. Tibetan Mastiff The Tibetan Mastiff is another large dog breed, with most individuals averaging well over 60 centimeters in height. In ancient China, the breed was used as a guard dog securing tents, monasteries, and even entire villages. It was also used to look out for herds and flocks. One of the most distinctive characteristics is the long coat that is devoid of the unpleasant smell common in large dog breeds. As guardian dogs, they're intelligent, just as they are strong-willed so obedience training from early on is highly recommended. They're also very protective and are sure to cause some problems in encounters with strangers. Again, this calls for the owner's understanding of their pet to avert problems, especially with neighbors. You can get one of these bad boys if you have some $10,000 to spare. Number four, Chow Chow. In Northern China, where this breed originated, it is referred to as the puffy lion, which is really befitting on its appearance. It has a stocky build covered by a dense double coat that is thick around the neck. This gives the dog a lion-like appearance. Besides the mane, the dog is also known for its blue-black tongue, a trait that occurs in only one other dog breed known as the Sharpei in southern China. In ancient China, these dogs were used to pull sleds, which is only natural considering their well-muscled figures. Aside from being beasts of burden, they also acted as a source of food, as some families raised them for the sole purpose of eating them later. As far as pulling sleds is concerned, it doesn't seem to have impacted their development over the years, since they're not as active as you'd expect. But make no mistake, they still need a daily dose of physical activity. This keeps them from going bored and becoming restless. The breed has also shown a certain level of aggression and a general resistance to training. This becomes even harder as the dog transitions to adulthood, so getting it right with the training while the dog is young is very crucial. Owning a Chow Chow will cost you $11,000. Number three, Lo Chen. Back in the 1970s, the Lo Chen dog breed was pretty rare. There were just about 65 registered canines. Today, the breed has made some serious strides, although the registrations per year haven't even hit a thousand mark. Low Chens are known for particularly their small size and long wavy coat. For shows, the dog is shaved in a way that resembles a lion, an appearance that influenced the breed's name. In German, the name translates to Little Lion, while in French, the breed is known as the Little Lion Dog. The breed originates from a history of being a companion, which makes it an excellent house pet, especially for a household with small kids. Their temperament is built around being with people, hence they tend to love the attention. Leaving them alone for long periods can have a negative effect on their moods. For the better part of its history, the Lo Chen was a pet for mainly the wealthy and elite. With a price tag of $12,000, it looks like it's still the case. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number two. Akita. The Akita is not so pricey as compared to the other canines in this list, but you'll still need to part with some good money to own one. Just how much you fork out is dependent on the variety you wish to own. For starters, there are two variations on this breed, namely Japanese and American. The Japanese strain tends to cost more with the price being as high as $4,500 for one. Generally, the two share so many common traits like the coat and temperament. The coat is usually thick, an adaptation against the cold weather in the mountain regions of northern Japan, their original home. In these places, they were used in hunting game like deer, bear, and wild boar. While they can be affectionate with family members, Akitas tend to be reserved with both strangers and animals. In case of such interaction, they can be quite aggressive if they haven't been well trained. 
before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number one, Samoyed. Top of our list is the Samoyed, with its origin being Siberia. Here, it was bred by the Samoyedic peoples for herding reindeer. But things have changed significantly, and they're now a beloved pet to rich households. They're known especially for the double layer coat, which is more commonly white in color, although biscuit appears regularly. The breed's facial expression is also among the many things that give it considerable affection among dog lovers. At a glance, and this pretty much sums up the breed's temperament, as almost all of them tend to be friendly and rarely aggressive to even strangers. This is why it's perhaps a bad idea to have them as guard dogs, but they can make excellent watchdogs with their barking tendencies. Based on their breeding purpose, it's not the best idea to let them get bored. They'll get digging and become destructive if they don't get that much needed exercise. Typically, a Samoyed costs between $10,000 and $14,000.